say praise the Lord again to everyone. We just want to certainly to acknowledge and show some love and appreciation, amen, for our First Lady, amen. Today is her birthday, and from the King Chapel Assembly family, amen. We just have a, a little love gift for her. I have a card for her. It says, for someone special, you were created by the Lord in a wonderful way. You are a blessing, and no one else could take your place. There is only one you, your bright smile, your caring heart, all the things that make you the special person you are will never be repeated by anyone else. There's only one you. Your life has a purpose that only you can fulfill. And there's a difference the Lord had just for you to make. There's only one you. And first lady, this is from the King Shepherd Assembly family wanting to wish you a very happy birthday on today. Stand with us and let's honor, amen, our first lady, amen, first lady, Julie Sanchez. for our first lady. She penned the saying that love feels like love. Amen. And we thank God for the love. God patterned it and he said he so loved the world that he gave and he set his love upon us and now we can love one another. Amen. Amen. If we love God for our first lady, let's give God a hand praise for her birthday today. And we sing happy birthday to her this morning in Sunday school. And we're going to go out and celebrate right after service, have a celebration dinner and celebration dessert, and who knows what may happen after that. I'm just saying. All right, I'll be good. How many ready for a word this afternoon? Let's stand to our feet. We thank the Lord for you. I'm going to ask that you would turn to the book of Philippians, and uh, I will be mindful of the time knowing that our time is moving on here, and we thank the Lord for you. In the book of Philippians, chapter number one, and we're going to look at verse number six, and also verses 25 and 26. Philippians chapter one, verse number six, and also verses 25 and 26. Uh, Philippians, please share your word with someone if they happen not to have a word with them. Thank you for standing. We ask that you uh, do stand. If you walked in, we ask that you stand, amen, as we give honor to the presence of the Lord, amen. Uh, we would like to welcome all of our viewers. We're happy that we are the King's Chapel Assembly. This is a place where the King lives. The church for everybody, somebody, and you belong here. We are the church in the heart of the city with you in our heart. Thank you once again for tuning in. Call up a friend and let them know that the power of Pentecost telecast is on the air. We are on the corner of Hannah and Jefferson, specifically 703 East Jefferson. We would love to have you with us in our worship service. For more information, you can go to kingschapelassembly.com. As we look here in the sixth verse, and you can follow along silently, thank you for sharing your word with someone. If you can follow along silently as I read the word of the Lord aloud, and I do want to thank and praise the Lord for Brother Chris and for our sisters, amen, that sang beautiful medleys unto the Lord, amen. We're so blessed here at King's Chapel Assembly. Paul speaks to us and says, Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. 
verse number 25 and 26. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance, thank you, Jesus, and of joy of faith that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ. For me, he goes on to say, for me, by my coming to you. Verse number 25 again, and having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith. Hallelujah. Let's look to the Lord this afternoon. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you once again, knowing that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. God, without you, we can do nothing, and we need you, Lord, every minute and every second of every day. Speak to us. Speak through us right now. Let this word, God, go forth into our hearts. Let our minds be ready receptacles to receive your word. Rebuke the enemy that would try to come to take away the logos of thought from our minds and keep it and protect it against the Lord. Anything that will come to bring confusion or distraction or hindrance. As this word goes forth in this place and every time it is heard, that it be a blessing to your people. We pray that someone would go down in water baptism in the name of Jesus. Someone be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Some backslider will come back to you, God. Oh, God, and we'll praise you and we'll magnify you for all you've done and what you will do. We ask these divine blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Let's give him worship again. Amen. For the Lord's kindness to us. As you look at verse number six and also verse number 25, I want to lift some words from there. It says, which hath begun, which hath begun. Verse number 25, Paul speaks to us. He says here, I want to lift the words, I shall abide and continue with you all. I shall abide and continue with you all. I want to talk to your hearts on the subject, since God started us, then let us end together. Say with me, since God started us, now you got to look at somebody in order, to, in order for it to work. Since God started us, then let's end together. Paul says, I'm in somewhat of a betwixt here. He said, uh, uh, in, in verse number 23 here, he says, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better, nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. In other words, it's more important for your sake that I'm still here. But Paul knows that if the Lord were to call me home right now, amen, that I am in the presence of the Lord. I like verse number six here as we look in this first chapter of Philippians 1 and 6. It says, being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. I like that word perform. Uh, and I want you to understand the motivator here is God. Uh, we cannot do anything without God. But with God, we're able to perform. Amen? The performance here is not so much to glorify self. It is never for flesh grandizement. But the Lord has called us out and called us in and set us as a city set up on a hill that cannot be hid, that we would show forth, somebody say, show forth the praises of him that's called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. <coughs> I don't have time to expound on the whole text, <clears throat> but as we look at this here, Paul uh, glorifies God in the midst of his bonds. He talks about here being in prison and in his afflictions. Uh, he talks about here the afflictions that promote the gospel. And I want you to understand what the devil meant for evil. Amen. God will turn it around for your good. Amen. Sometimes we think, well, the devil's fighting here and the devil's fighting there, but Understand the devil can't do anything, amen, unless the Lord allows it to happen. Amen. Let those hands say, Lord, show me the bigger plan. Lord, show me the bigger picture. There's got to be something bigger than what you're going through. There's got to be something better than what you're going through. Amen. 
So Paul says here, look, I'm in between two places here. He says, nevertheless, in verse number 24, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. He says in verse 25, and having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith. Hallelujah. Let's give him some praise. Amen. I want you to know that we're all in this together. Amen. Don't think that what you're going through that nobody understands your situation. You're going through tests and trials. You're going through tribulations. You're going time, going through times where perhaps people are not uh, loving on you and they're maybe this, they're mistreating you. But no, somebody else has already been through that. Somebody has already been through what you're going through now. Amen. You may not know who they are. You may not know where they live, but somebody has already been there and done that. Number one, the author and the finisher of our faith is Jesus Christ. So he is the captain of our salvation, which means also he is the captain, amen, of suffering. And I'm so glad to know that we have a high priest today who is touched with the feeling of our infirmities, which are our weaknesses. Paul went on to turn it around like this. He says, I, I glory in my infirmities. He said, for when I am weak, then he is strong. Amen? Uh, we really don't know how strong we are until we are thrown into the fiery furnace of affliction. Amen? We really don't know what we can take until we are thrown in the fire. And once we are there, understand God doesn't, he doesn't allow you to go through anything or to get into anything without first preparing you for it. So the preparation is on your part. So coming to Bible class, coming to Sunday school, coming like you're doing this afternoon to afternoon service, getting a word where you can have the word preached to you allows you to have faith, amen, to be able to overcome. Amen. And understand somebody is looking at you going through. But it's all about your reactions. We had a good lesson this morning in our Sunday school class. And we talked about part of it had to do when God says no. We talked about what kind of reaction do we have when God says no to us. Amen. I want you to understand here today the bigger picture is that God wants himself to be glorified in us. I want you to look back at the text here, and I want you to pick at the word here, being confident of this very thing. You have to ask yourself, well, what is the thing that I must be confident in? The thing that you've got to be confident in is that if God started something with me, God would have never started a work in me if he did not intend to finish it through me. Amen. I've got to be willing, amen, to hang on in there, to keep on trusting, believing, and calling upon God because I am the clay on the wheel and God has got me in the spin cycle. Give God some praise. Amen. Thank God for your spin cycle, man. And don't fool yourself. You just don't want to sit there. You need to be spun on the wheel, amen, where God has got his hands on you. There's certain areas in our life where we think we have it all together, amen, and God has got to turn us around, and amen, he's got to see the other side. And specifically, understand, he can see all sides at once, but he's got to reveal to us the short areas or the weaknesses in our life where we need him to work on us. So Paul went on to say it like this here. He said, look, we, we're in this together, and uh, you, you've got this, I'm, I'm confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work in you, amen, he will perform it, amen? There's nothing worse than not being able to perform, amen? Uh, you, if you ever spent a lot of money on a car and all the commercials said this car can go to zero to whatever you want to be able, amen, to get off the light and go, amen? If, if you're in a tight spot, amen, you need to get around somebody, you don't want a little car that's going to put around. You need to get around that semi. You need to get out of that dangerous spot, amen? You need to perform, amen? How many of you ever had bosses where they look at the numbers and they say, well, you're doing good in this area, but there's another area here that you need to bring these numbers up, and you need to do what? You need to perform. Somebody say perform, amen? 
Amen. Sometimes our kids bring home grades, and they're not really as well as what we would like them to do. So we tell them, maybe perhaps you need to turn the television off, and you need to, uh, you know, turn the PlayStation off, and you need to, uh, you know, spend a little bit more time in the books so that you can perform better on tests. Amen? Amen. Let's give God some praise for performance today. Uh, I want you to understand this performance again is not that you and I could look good, but it's rather that, that God could be glorified and magnified. Amen. As we look at this here, we look at the text for just a little bit. I want you to understand here again these words that we're picking out here. Paul talks about in verse number 20, we didn't read it, but he says, according to my earnest expectation and my hope uh, that in nothing I should be ashamed but that with all boldness, amen, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified where in my body. How, my, how many want God to be magnified? He said, whether it be by life or by death, he said in verse 21, for to me to live is Christ, hallelujah, and to die is gain. See, understand here, you really have and you really aren't living unless you've been brought into a relationship with God. You're just merely existing. Amen. I don't care how much money people have. They're just merely existing if they don't know who Jesus is. I believe here, uh, God, that starts things. And again, we have to go back being confident of this very thing. The very thing is the thing, amen, of God's word that brings perfection performance in our lives. But what does God do? God performs by reaching down to where we are. Amen. The Bible talks about in the miry clay. We really don't talk like that today. But when we were in a state being desperate in despair, when we were in a state perhaps of being suicidal, when we were down and out and we felt nobody loved us and nobody rang our telephone and nobody knocked on our door and, and we were down, amen, way down in the dumps and we needed to hear from God. It took a God with a long enough arm to reach down in our depression and to reach down in our frustration and to reach down in our anger and to reach down in our disappointment. I want you to know this afternoon, God's got long enough arms to reach where you are and to pull you up. Amen? Let's give him praise today. Let's give God praise for long enough arms. The performance of God is how God is able to reach in our areas where we are needy. God's able to reach in our areas where we have wants and desires. God, amen, is able to perform, to reach in those areas where nobody really understands us. And sometimes we don't even understand ourselves, but his grace, his divine influence is able to reach us where we are. I believe this is part of the confidence that we can have boldness in today. Amen. A reminder of Saul. We know, amen, how Saul was. He was doing his thing thinking he was doing God a favor, persecuting the saints, locking them up, killing them, and God had to have long enough arms, amen, to begin a work in him. And the work, first of all, had to do with, amen, the touch, amen. The work had to do, amen, with being able to stop Saul dead in his tracks. Think about this. When it comes to performance, we're, when we are on the wrong street, we're headed down the wrong way, we got to thank God that we heard God's voice, amen. We, were, we, we didn't realize we were talking back to God when God said, you need to get your life together. You need to stop doing those things that don't bring me glory, uh, amen. It was the performance of God that reached us, amen, in that state of depression, and he turned us around. Amen. Uh, amen. Praise God for a God that is able to turn us around. I believe that performance, as we look at it here for just a few minutes, that performance is not only a God that's able to pull us out of the miry clay, but he's a God that's able to provide for us. Amen. Somebody say performance. Um, somebody say providence. Amen. Providence has to do with God supplying all of our need. 
Paul's saying here, even though I've got some weaknesses and I've got some infirmities, and even though they've locked me up and I'm in this jail here, Paul says here, I can perform just as powerful, amen, behind these prison walls as I can on the other side of the prison wall. Do you understand today that there is no demon in hell that can keep God from performing in your life? Amen. As a matter of fact, uh, the, the, the greater, amen, the drama that the devil drags up in your life, uh, the greater God has a way of shining in the midst of what the enemy meant for confusion. Huh? And while your enemies are looking at you and they're saying, well, I wonder how she's going to get out of that. And I wonder how he's going to get out of that. In the midst of it all, the God has got, amen, the engine of the Holy Ghost revving down on the inside. And it's just a matter of time before God, God catapults you out of that test, but God has a way of leaving you in there long enough, uh, amen, because he gets the glory out of bad situations. Let's give God some praise, amen. See, it's in those uh, situations that are trying where God gets the glory, and this is where we could pull within ourselves knowing there's power in the Holy Ghost, that God that had begun a good thing in us, he is going to perform it today. I want you to know today that we need to be committed not only to the gospel of good news, but we need to be committed to a horizontal re a relationship with one another. Uh, too many people today have a mind say, well, I don't need nobody. And I know what you're saying, uh, that God is your source and God is your help. But let's face it, we really do need one another. Amen. Amen. We that are husbands. Amen. We got to be there for our wives. And as, as parents, we got to be there for our children. And we shouldn't expect them to try to figure out life on their own. But we, we are connected one with another. And we need one another. Amen. Uh, we are stronger when we are able to put our mind together and put our resources together. Somebody said together. We are strong. We're able to put our energy together and put our thoughts together and put our prayers together. So I like what Paul says here when we look at this here. He says that in verse number 26, having this confidence, uh, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for furtherance and joy of faith. Amen. What confidence today do you have, amen, in God that God will allow you to stay connected to your loved ones. Amen. You, come on, let's give them praise today. See, see, too many times we want to throw people away because they have not made us happy. And too many times we want to throw the baby out with the bathwater because somebody made us upset and because somebody didn't do it the way we wanted to do it. Uh, we want to write them off here, but I want you to understand here together. I want you to understand that together as men and women of God, we are stronger when we are connected together together, amen, in God. Paul says here, look, I could be selfish and want to go away, but he says here, for your sake, uh, know here, God, that have begun a good work, he's going to perform it. And Paul's saying here, anything that I can do, amen, to make your confidence and your boldness, amen, be more sure in God and steady. Uh, Paul's saying, I'm willing to wait it out with you that you might be able to be secure in God. Let's give him some praise today, amen? Amen. This tells me today that we need people Amen. That need to be committed to ourselves. Uh, we need people today that are needing to be committed, amen, to the cause. Amen. Uh, we need people committed over here in ministry. Uh, amen. That are willing to say, well, I'm willing to stay over here, uh, come hell or high water. In other words, uh, uh, you don't base things off of what you see, but you're committed, amen, for the ministry growing. Amen. Let's give them praise right now. Uh, when you think about ministry, it's all about the service today. Uh, how many of you know that you represent Jesus? Uh, we carry on, uh, we carry a name today that is higher above any name. Praise God. Thank God for the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, God does not give us, amen, that uh, privilege to be able to have a bad attitude because we are on display today. Uh, the world is looking at us today. Uh, Amen. Young people, when you go to school, they're looking to see whether or not you really love God. Amen. On the playground. Huh? And somebody will pick on you to try to make you uh, 
curse with them and fight with them, but you got to know that I'm a Christian today. I'm a believer today, and I don't like how you're treating me, but I'm not coming down to that level, amen? Uh, in other words, you can't have a, a bad, ugly attitude, amen, with individuals that treat you wrong, amen? Uh, why? Because you're connected to the body of Christ, uh, amen? Let's give them praise in the house right now. But I believe here as we look at this, I, I believe it's all about finishing strong. Let's give them praise right now. Uh, amen. Paul says, being confident of this very thing. Uh, amen. That he which had begun a good work in you. Uh, it's a terrible thing to start something and not be able to finish it. And God says here, if I started a work in you, I want to finish with you. I want you to Finish strong, amen, uh, amen, I want you to know, amen, who I am, and this is why this same man, Paul, said in this book here, he said, look, uh, if you talk about pedigrees, I can talk about pedigrees uh, of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew of Hebrews, and amen, sat at the feet of Gamal, and you know, if you want to talk about a goodly heritage, Paul said, I had all that when I was a Pharisee, but he said, I counted all these things, but dung, uh, did I, for the excellency that I may win Christ today, uh, amen, let's give him praise in the house right now, uh, amen, as we look at this, we have to understand uh, amen, that the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding that we need uh, comes from God to be able to finish our test. Uh, see, child of God, it's important for you to make it through all of your tests and have faith in no matter what you're going through. Uh, yes, the devil will throw whatever he can at you, uh, but you've got to hold on to the word of God today. And, and you don't know, amen, how many people are looking at you. Uh, Paul again said here, uh, Amen. I'm in, a, I'm in between places here because I, I would like to go away, but for your sake, uh, I'm still here. I want to I know today, uh, how many people can you count on that are really in your corner? Amen. Uh, how many people today, amen, that say, I'm started out with you, I'm going to be with you no matter what you're going through. Uh, lose your job, I'm still there with you. Uh, amen. Got bills, I'm still there with you. Uh, am I talking to any real people in the house right now? Uh, Amen. Once you get married, you know how it is. Uh, amen. After a few years, we start to gain some weight. Amen. Uh, and we no longer have, amen, that figure that we had back in our 20s. Uh, but you don't throw that person in for a new model. Amen. Uh, you say, I'm committed to hang with you. Amen. Uh, amen. And you don't say no, you don't say things like, hey, you don't got all fat, but I'm still going to stay with you. No, that's not how it's about. Amen. Uh, but you got to be able to know today that it's not about the looks. It's not about the money, but it's about, amen, the commitment that we have one to another. Let's give them praise, amen. Uh, we have to be sensitive in knowing, amen, that it is God that started a work in us. Uh, and God is saying here, I want you to know uh, that you got to have the faith and the confidence to know that if I started with you, I'm going to finish it with you. Uh, amen. But you raise them hands in the house right now. Uh, God says, I need a partner. Raise them hands. Say, Lord, uh, I'll partner with you this afternoon. Um, Lord, I'll partner with you in the midst of tests and trials. Uh, God, I'll partner with you. Amen. You are lied on. Uh, and Lord, I will be lied on. Uh, amen. God, I'll partner with you. Uh, amen. You are ridiculed and spat on. Uh, and God, I'll partner with you this afternoon. Uh, too many people today, they only want to be with God. Uh, amen. When there's a big crowd and when it's popular. Amen. Uh, but you got to be committed today to go through. Uh, we know Peter here and I love Peter because he was transparent. Uh, he had a mind, Lord, I'm willing to die for you. Uh, amen. But when the heat got on, uh, Peter denied knowing the Lord. Amen. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about when it comes to finishing the work. Uh, you don't want somebody that comes with you half the way, uh, but you want somebody that's willing to be your true ride or die. Uh, in other words, I'm committed, amen, to go through with you uh, and to pray with you and to call on the Lord with you. Uh, which means we need to be intercessors.
blessing for one another. Amen. Uh, let's give them praise in the house right now. Uh, amen. God says, number one, you need to partner with me. Uh, God said, I'm willing, amen, to take you through. Uh, and I'm willing, amen, for my glory to be manifested. Uh, but God says, here, I want to know, do you love me that type of way? Um, do you love me enough that you're still going to worship me and praise me? Uh, amen. When there's no money in your pocket. Uh, when your job runs out. Uh, amen. When your telephone doesn't ring. Amen. Uh, you can't say, well, Lord, I'm willing to walk with you if you do that. No. Uh, you can't make those type of man, uh, amen, uh, uh, bargains with God. Uh, you got to be willing to say, say, Lord, whatever it is in front of us. Uh, Lord, I'm willing to stick with you in this gospel. Uh, amen. Let's give him praise right now. I'm willing to hold on to you, God. Uh, amen. Because, Lord, I know what you're trying to extract from me uh, is faith right now. Uh, amen. Let's give him praise in the house. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you this afternoon. Uh, so I just wanted to say here, he that had begun a good work in us, uh, God wants to finish it with me. Uh, so as we get down to the finish line of our tests and trials, uh, the only thing that God requires uh, is that you finish the day strong. Amen. Uh, don't worry about Monday morning. Uh, don't worry about November it hasn't got here. Uh, amen. But Lord, let me finish today strong. Uh, let me finish in faith. Come on, somebody. Uh, let me finish with courage. Uh, let me finish, amen, knowing the joy that I got. Amen. From the Lord when I got up in the morning. Uh, amen. When I lay down at night, uh, I ought to have that joy of the Lord down in my soul. Uh, amen. Why do I need that joy? Uh, well, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. Being confident of this very thing. Uh, let's give him praise right now. I just come to let you know. Uh, amen. Since God started it with us, uh, then let's finish together. Amen. Uh, let's end together on a high note. Uh, amen. Let's end with a bang in God. Uh, let's end together. Amen. With a testimony. Uh, knowing that we all went through the fire together. Uh, and all of us are preserved. Uh, that we all got a good testimony over here. Uh, amen. All of us can hold our head up. Uh, come on, somebody. You got to be willing today uh, to perhaps change your perspective. Uh, out of the 12 spies, only two had a good report. Uh, amen. But if they would have had it the right way, uh, amen, the other 10 should have got converted. Uh, if they didn't have faith in the beginning, uh, they should have got it along the way. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, you may not start out with it, but you need to be converted today. Uh, why? Because in the house, God's got pillars in the house. Uh, amen. God's got examples in the house. Uh, God's got people that he's healed in the house. Uh, and they are finishing strong. Uh, they're going through, amen, they're testing trials strong. Uh, but you got to ask God, Lord, give me a mind that they have. Uh, how is it that they can get their second win? Uh, how is it they get that other anointing? Uh, why? Because they've got confidence in God. Uh, maybe perhaps we need to ask God, uh, Lord, give me confidence today. Uh, that know that no matter what comes my way, uh, sister, amen, over here doesn't have to have all the joy. Uh, I can have some joy for myself. Uh, amen. Brother over here doesn't have to have a good testimony. Uh, what about my own testimony? Uh, God wants you to finish strong today. Uh, wouldn't it be a great thing if everybody in the church uh, had an overcoming testimony? Uh, Amen. Sometimes we ask for overcoming testimonies. Um, and sometimes we have to think and scratch our head. Uh, but if you were writing down, amen, your blessings, uh, the song says naming them one by one. Uh, it wouldn't be a hard thing for you to remember uh, what the Lord has done. Uh, when you think about when he woke you up this morning, uh, he didn't have to put breath down in our lungs. Uh, didn't have to allow the blood to flow through our veins. Uh, but that's the good of the Lord. Um, amen. Some of us ate breakfast before we came to church. Uh, amen for you. Amen. Uh, but God didn't have to allow you to digest that food. Uh, you could have been fed through a feeding tube. Uh, but no, you could. You went to your refrigerator. Uh, you went to your drive-up window. Uh, and you were able to digest food without anybody helping you. Uh, what I'm telling you today, don't count 
any of God's goodness uh, as a small thing as if God didn't do it. Uh, if you count your blessings and name them one by one, uh, you can know that God gives you a second wind over and over again. Uh, because when you think about his goodness, uh, if it hadn't been for his love, uh, if it hadn't been for his grace, uh, we would not have been able to make it this far. Uh, so today, let's make it our mind. Uh, let's all finish strong together. Uh, come on, reach a neighbor by the hand. Uh, amen. Take a neighbor by the hand right now. Uh, look at that neighbor in the eye and say, neighbor. Amen. Since God started with us, uh, then let's end together. Uh, and I'm going to put the word strong on it right now. Uh, let's end together strong. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, amen. Maybe you are the leader. Uh, amen. Pull that weak person up. Uh, and say, come on, sister and brother. Amen. I'm going to help you walk with the Lord. Uh, I'm going to help you call on the Lord. Uh, and together we'll finish strong. Uh, do you know when we all get over the finish line, uh, we all got a crown waiting for us. Uh, when we all make it through, amen, our tests and trials. Uh, in that great getting up morning, uh, only the strong will survive. Uh, when I look at it the right way, uh, why haven't you thrown in the towel by now? Uh, you had to be stronger than what you already thought. Uh, amen. When loved ones walked out on you, uh, amen, it took things away from you. Uh, amen. You were already stronger than what you thought today. Uh, and this is why Paul saying that God started in you, uh, being confident of this one thing. Uh, come on, give God praise in the house right now. The psalmist went on to say, one thing have I desired of the Lord, uh, that will I seek after. Uh, I believe if you can just get that one thing in your mind, uh, amen, Lord, I want to be that worshiper. Uh, in other words, Lord, I want to please you. Uh, Lord, if I worship you, you said no good thing. Uh, will you withhold from those that walk up right before me? Uh, so the cattle on a thousand hills are already mine, uh, amen, because I got some promises, uh, amen that I can take from the word of God. Uh, come on, let's give him praise in the house right now. Uh, since God started in us, uh, then let's end together strong, uh, which means somebody's got to, be, got to be the strong man in the house. Uh, somebody's got to be the head. Uh, amen. In the house, I'll tell you how it should work. Uh, it ought to be the man being the umbrella and covering for his wife. Uh, amen. And then my wife and husband uh, allow to be that covering for their children. Uh, but sometimes, men, we're not where we ought to be. Uh, but somebody's got to be the strong man in the house. Uh, amen. No matter who it is in your house, uh, rally somebody up to say, let's have faith together. Uh, let's have courage together. Um, let's have a candid spirit together. Uh, the two spies, Joshua and Caleb, said, uh, we are more than able right now. Uh, give me this mountain. Uh, I just wonder right now uh, if you can rally with somebody somebody else uh, that's got enough faith, amen, uh, to be able to overcome it with you. Uh, amen. In the business world, they talk about synergy. Uh, amen. You know how it is. They put their hands together. Uh, they say, we are stronger together. Amen. Uh, well, I believe one could chase a thousand uh, and two could put ten thousand to flight. Uh, if you could find you another prayer partner, uh, if you could find you another worshiper, uh, if you could find somebody else, uh, amen, that's got your mind to want to lift them up. Huh? I believe you and that other person can take the city. Huh? You and the other person can take your neighborhood. Huh? You and another prayer partner, huh? amen, can take the anointing on your job. Huh? See, you ain't got to have a whole lot of folk. Huh? You just need somebody beside you. Huh? Amen. Let's give God praise in the house right now. Huh? Since God started it, amen, with us. Huh? Then let's finish strong together. Huh? If you're married, Tell your husband or tell your wife, uh, honey, let's finish strong together. Uh, if you're a single parent, uh, amen, you're a mother with children. Uh, tell your children, uh, we're going to finish strong together. Uh, come on, help me preach. I'm trying to close right now. Uh, amen. We're going to finish how? Uh, we're going to finish, somebody say, together. Together. Uh, we are, we are going to overcome how? Amen. We're going to go through how? Amen. 
together we're going to do it. Uh, together we're stronger. Uh, together we're more powerful. Uh, together, together we're more mighty. Amen. Uh, that's why the enemy is the author of confusion. Uh, he doesn't want families to get together. Uh, amen. If you can get somebody going out on a tangent, uh, it brings the whole family down. Uh, but if everybody can get on the same page uh, and speak the same thing uh, and call on the same name, uh, how are we going to do it? We're going to do it how? together. Amen. Uh, let's stand all over our house. Come on down, altar workers. Uh, amen. Together we stand, uh, and divided we fall. Uh, let us stand together, knowing uh, he that have begun a good work in us, uh, he's going to complete it. Uh, let those hands say, Lord, finish it with me. Uh, finish it with me, God. Uh, amen. What you started with me, uh, oh God, finish it with me. Uh, I don't want to be half-baked. Uh, I don't want to be half done. Uh, I don't want a testimony where they made it so far, uh, but they couldn't go all the way. Uh, they made it so far, but then they failed. Uh, or they threw in the towel. No, I want to finish strong. Uh, I want to say like Paul. Uh, hey man, I fought a good fight. Uh, I finished my course. Uh, henceforth, there's later for me a crown. Uh, a crown of righteousness. Uh, come on, let's give them praise in the house. Since God started, he started us. Look at your neighbor, tell him he started us. Then let's end together. We need one another. We need this church. Amen. As a pastor, I can't pastor anybody if you're not here. Amen. Come on, somebody. As a sheep, we've always been told that sheep begat sheep, amen? So when you leave the comfort of these four walls and you go to your job and you go to your schools, God wants to use you to be a representative of his grace to somebody else out there. So I just want to tell you that you're in the right place at the right time to be an effective witness, amen? Today as AVQs is up here, your prayer warriors are at the altar right now and everything's ready for you to come. We've got oil that we're glad to anoint you in the name of the Lord. We want to pray for you in the name of Jesus that no matter what you're going through, that the God that, the God that we serve me, oh will God. deliver you. Amen? It starts with a change. It starts with a mind of repentance. Like you. If I didn't have faith, and Lord, change my mind that change I have faith today. Me, oh God. If I didn't have courage, God, let me get courage right now. Let me get confidence Wash right now. Why don't you come right now? We want to pray for you. If you want to repent of your sins and be baptized hey. in Jesus' name right now, we have water. You can go down and baptism in the name of Jesus and the Lord will feed with the Holy Ghost. Why don't you come right now? we we'll pray for you in Jesus' name.
like you mean it. Change me. Whatever's not like you, Lord, I want you to. Uh-huh. From the inside. Remember this? Has come home. 